In this session, we are going to see how to host PHP website in Infinity Free. Okay, that will be completely free. And in our previous session, we have seen how to host website in triple zero web host. Now in this, we are going to see in Infinity Free. Okay, you just have to write here Infinity Free Hosting. I'll just click on this first link. Okay, if you want to host in triple zero web host, there also you can host. And inside this also you can host. Okay, both you can host for free. I'll just click on agree. Okay, if you are having account, then you can sign in. If you are not having, just click on this sign up now or you can click on register. Okay, I have not created any account. So, I'm just going to pass this email ID test123 example 890 at gmail.com. This email ID I have just created for testing purpose. Here, I'm just going to pass the password. I will click on this. I have read this agreement. Create new account. I will click on never and verification will be sent. I will just come to my mail and inside this I am just going to check for that. Okay, I will just wait for 2 to 3 minutes. I will just wait for some time. I still did not receive the email. So, I am just going to click on this recent email. The verification link has been sent. I will just refresh this one. Okay, now I got this email. I will just open this. I will just click on this verify email address button. Okay, once I click on this, I will be redirected to this dashboard where I will be having this email address. Okay, for whichever email you have logged in, that email will be visible here. And here we are having all these details. Okay, you don't have to worry about entire thing. You don't have to learn this entire dashboard. You just have to see here active accounts 0 by 3, which means that we can host three websites inside this. I have not deleted any account. Only three websites you can host. Here, I'm just going to click on this create account. And here you can see we are having subdomain and we are having this custom domain. Okay, inside this subdomain, you can see we are having all these options. Whichever options you want, you can just select from here. Okay, if you are giving custom domain, first we have to use this name servers. Okay, we have to edit in name servers. As of now, you don't have to worry about this. We are just going to use this subdomain. Here, I am just going to write php crud, php crud 890. And this extension, let me just give this infinity free, infinity free app.com. I will just give this one. I will just click on search domain. Okay, success. Okay, this domain name. Okay, this is present. So, here I am having this available. If you do not get this available or failed, then you can give for another name and you can just search for that. Okay, this is the account label. Okay, website for you can see this is my website and account username generate automatically. It is been disabled. It is going to generate and here I am just going to give the password. If we leave empty, then it is going to generate randomly. You can see leave empty to generate random. I will just click on this. I am not going to give any password. I will just click on create account. Okay, it will be generating the random one. So, I am just going to select that. Once you click on that, here we are having this dashboard. Inside this, we are having these two buttons. View in client area and open control panel. As of now, I am just going to click on this open control panel. Okay, it will be redirected and this is our control panel. And inside this, we are having this important notice. Okay, you just read this one and click on this I approve. Okay, the panel is loading. It will take time. Now it is getting loaded. You can see all the details. Okay, all you can see we are having MySQL database, PHP my admin. We are having file manager. We are having all the things here. We are having subdomains, emails. Everything is present here. Now inside this, first we are just going to come to file manager. Just click on this file manager and here you will be redirected to this page. And inside this, we are having this htdocs folder. We are having this index to html. Then let me come here. We are having all this data. Now I am just going to come inside this htdocs folder. Inside this folder, I am just going to drag and drop all the files. Okay, inside this I am having all these files and folders. Let me just delete this one. First, I am just going to delete this. 
and this also I'm just going to delete. Now inside this HT docs, all these files and folder, I'm just going to drag and drop here. Okay, now all the files are present. I'll just come here. Now I'm just going to come to database. And inside this database, I'm just going to create my database. Let me just write here CRUD operation. I'll just click on create database. You can see the database has been created. Here I'm having password. Okay, password is my vPanel password. Here I'm having username and here I'm having this database name. As of now, I'm just going to copy all this data. Okay, later on also you can come to this dashboard. Okay, because of my system issue, I'm just going to copy all the data. I'm just going to store here. Now I'll just click on this admin. Let me just create the table. I'll just give here five. Click on go. I'll be giving here ID, username, email, mobile and password. For all this, I'm just going to give varchar. Okay, the same table I am creating what I have created for my previous tutorial. And for this, I'm just going to give this auto increment. And for all this, I'm just going to give the value. Okay, these are the values I have given. I'll just click on save. Okay, this is my database and this is my table CRUD. Now I'll just come here. Now inside this file manager, first let me just come to file manager and inside this partials. Okay, here I'm just not going to open this connect file. Inside this partials, I'm having connect. I'll just open that one. We are having this local host. Then after that, let me just check here. This is my database name. I'll just copy and inside this, I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, this is the database. Password, I'm just going to paste this one. Okay, password here I'm not having. I'll just copy this username. And inside this, I'm just going to paste the username. I'll save. I'll just come to my dashboard. I'll just come back. I'll come to home page here. Okay, here we are having this username, password is same as my cPanel, we are having this local host and we are having this uh, port number. To get the password, just come to this one, infinity accounts, okay, just click on your account. Inside this control panel, we are having this password. I am just going to copy this password and inside this, I am just going to paste that password here. Okay, this will be our website. Okay, this will be our website. And here we are having this local host. I'm just going to copy. And inside this, here I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, we just have to copy this local host. This is the username, password, and this will be our database name. I'll just save this. After saving this connect file, from here I'm just going to delete this connect file. And inside this, I'm just going to drag and drop this connect file here upload and replace okay after that i'll just come to my control panel i'll just copy this link and here i'm just going to paste that one now here i'm just going to enter using uh, one name i'll just write here seema at gmail.com password 1234 uh, mobile number add details you can see data has been added and here the data will be stored inside the database as well I'll refresh this. You can see the data has been stored inside the database. Okay, this is how we are going to host the website in infinity free. That is completely free. Okay, first what you have to do, you have to sign up. You have to give your own domain. Then you have to follow the steps. And after that, you have to upload the files inside file manager. Inside htdocs folder, you have to upload all the files. Connect to the files. And inside this control panel, you will be having username and password. This is the website. And instead of giving local host, you just have to give this one. Okay, whatever name they have given, you just have to pass that. And we are having this MySQL password as well. Okay, this password and this password are same. But basically, you have to pass this password. Whatever data they have given here, you have to pass that one. 
and after that you just have to open this mysql database you can create tables and you just have to connect to the database and this is our data now when i click on update i will be able to update the data as well click on update data updated successfully you can see seema12 okay this is how we are going to host php website in infinity free previously we have seen how to host in triple zero web host and in this i have shown you how to host in infinity free okay you can follow the same steps if you are not understanding you can just revisit the video and again you can watch to understand the steps and you can write it down somewhere okay because this will be very very useful if you just want to host simple projects okay that's all for this session next session i will be telling you how to integrate paytm in php